Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, October 9th, and I cannot even tell you how excited I am to finally present this video to you guys. Now, as you guys know, I have been working on revamping several of my collections. The first one being my purse, which it was up a few months ago, so if you haven't seen it, check that out. One of the reasons for revamping my purse collection was because I have arm damage and I needed to downside, and of course, with time, your taste, things evolved. So that one was done a few months ago. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. The next one was my revamp watch collection. And then I have my revamp perfume collection. I have my revamp makeup collection, all that good stuff. They're almost all completely done. And so I can't wait to get them rolling out to you guys. But the one that's done right now is my revamp watch collection. And I'm so excited to share it with you and just show you the watches that I've collected. Of course, with time, I'm going to buy more watches as the time goes by. Right now, you know, I've already gone full force. I already got the main complete collection done, but you know, there are specific special watches that I am wanting that I will be getting with time. And then I just won't go out looking for watches, but if my eye spots one that I really, really like, of course I will buy it, add it to my collection, give you the update, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's check out my revamp watch collection. Cleanliness of this case is just amazing. It comes with instructions on how to even take care of it. Um, they welcome you to their products and they tell you all about their line and how they try to do things functionally. So I love that as well. So let's start with these cases right here and go from there. So this one right here, I try to put my watches according to. So this very top row. We have mostly Michael Kors, even though this one is not a Michael Kors. This is a Bebe or Bibi. I still don't know how to say that name right. I got to really research it and figure it out. This one I've had for a while, maybe like a year or two, but it's so elegant. It has the diamond likes around the face. Um, I used to like square faces. For years, I was into square faces, and then I kind of started evolving to round faces, and then I just started loving both, so I have both round and square faces so this one is a bb one i believe i may have gotten it at ross um or at the mall i can't remember but it's a round face with diamond likes around it and on the band it also has diamond likes as you can see the beginning part of the band has diamond likes it's just so elegant it goes with a lot of my stuff especially when i wear gold um so it goes with a lot i love it then we have two Michael Kors that are the same style watches. I got these in Mexico um, at a jewelry place. Um, and it has this whole name, Michael Kors, and then it has the initials MK. And it's a chain-like bracelet. It's almost like a bracelet and a watch together. So I call these bracelet watches because they hang. They don't. You can make them fit very fitted around your wrist, but I kind of like... The little looseness hanging of it because I get the feel of a bracelet and a watch together. So I got it in gold. Then I got one in rose gold. So same style, same everything. Just one is gold and one is rose gold, of course. Um, so I got those. So here's another Michael Kors watch. In fact, this was the very last watch that I got to complete this collection. I got it at Ross. It was like $59.99, I believe. Um... And of course, again, it has the whole name Michael Kors right there. And then it has the um, famous MK initials. And then it has Kors on each side of the band, as you can see there. I really needed a couple of navy blue or royal blue uh, watches. I have my Apple watch, which I have different color blues to attach to it because you can change the band. But I wanted an actual watch with the band that's, you know, in the blue family. So I found this one, of course, like, you know, I love Michael Kors. So yeah, so I got it uh, around for $59.99. You know they run a whole lot more. Then I got this other one. This is not Michael Kors. This is XOXO. I found this on Amazon. Um, this one I got right before this one. And this was going to be the blue watch. but um, And I liked it that it had the blue color with the gold metal. The round face with the soft um, round otter and on the outer face of it. But I love when watches in the very interface that it has the same color as the band. I love that. So when I can get that, I try to go for that. So you see the blue in the inside, it's XOXO. I got it from Amazon. Don't quote me on the price. I'll put the photo order, of course. So we have three Michael Kors here, a Bebe, 
and RBB, and then we have the XOXO. Then here we have mostly guest watches. So, um, and I got these all from Amazon. Um, I got this red, gold, and white one, which I love because I love those three colors together. You see where it says guest right there, and it's a red band with clips of gold, and the outer face is gold with kind of the top being white. And like I said, the face, the inner face is white as well. So I got that one. Then this is another guest watch. This one my husband got me, I believe it was Mother's Day this year. Um, he got me this along with a guest um, wristlet purse. Um, so I love it. I love black and gold. Black and gold to me is so elegant. Anything with gold is elegant, but something about black and gold. So he got me this one. It's a very strong quality silicone band with the gold in the inner face and the outer face along with the black. Um, and then I got this one also from Amazon. It's white. I love the white and gold as well. Um, and I love that it has the triangle symbol that's known for guests and it has the guest name and even the question mark. Um, and it has like a rope or braided band. Um, it's like a leatherish band. So a nice different style where it's like braided instead of just a regular straight silicone. This, this one also has a very quality strong silicone band. Um, then I have this one, which is really elegant. It's black. The interface also has black as well. The triangle for guests, the guest name. So it's very, very elegant. This one, um, my husband also got me for a gift. I believe it was my birthday. Um, I don't remember exactly where we got this from. I want to say Amazon or JC Penney's. I'll try to look it up and let you know later if you want to know. But again, it's a leatherish band with um, the um, gold little diamond likes in the inside at the four points of the watch, also on the outer face. So those are the watches I have on top right here. So we're going to go to the bottom level. So this bottom level still has a lot of space for other watches, which... I love and I can't wait to fill them up because once they fill up then I'm really going to just take my time and really get specific special watches. So this one I've had for a long time, few years now. Um, I had stopped wearing it for a while because like I said, my body, if you haven't seen my videos, I talk about my body having that electric mag feel where it kills the batteries no matter how expensive or cheap the watch is. Um, I always try to get quality designer watches, but this one's Relic. Um, I believe I got this one at Ross. I like the white acrylic um, band, and so that one was really pretty, so I was happy to all the watches that needed batteries that I replaced them and so far they're doing so good. I think with the years my body has changed, we'll continue to see. This one I got for our anniversary this year. It's a his and her watch. So my husband has the matching watch. It just says quartz. It doesn't have a brand. So it's, you know, it was like 30 something I want to say for both watches. So it's not an expensive designer watch, but I thought it was so cute and I didn't have brown. So I wanted some brown. So I thought it was really a cute gift for his and her for our anniversary. So I got that one for that reason. This one I got from my daughter for my birthday a few years ago. She knows one of my favorite colors is purple. This is Armatron. I believe she got it at Walmart. It has the real amethyst stones throughout the dial of the watch and on the band. And then it has diamond likes. It's like a grayish black color, the metal part. And the interface, like I said, I love the interface to be the color of the band. It is purple as well. I love this watch. It's meaningful, of course, because my daughter got it for me for my birthday. We have an extra space here. This is an Optism watch that I ordered. And I want to say I got it from Amazon. I'm pretty sure I did. It has the puzzle pieces that is a symbol of autism because there's no known cause and no known cure. So that's what the puzzle piece represent. It's the missing pieces. So it has the puzzle piece and the colors of autism, which is red, yellow, dark blue, and a lighter blue. Those are the four colors of autism, even though the main theme color of autism is blue. Um, that's why we dress head to toe blue and we do everything in blue for the autism march that I created here. Here, but I loved it because it had the puzzle piece in the interface like I like but all around the outer face and the entire band has it so I definitely wear those when we're doing anything for autism um, for autism for us is 24 7 all year round all day long so we're always 
you know, honoring and doing stuff to support autism. My son is autistic, as you know. So, but especially I'll wear these like when we do the Autism March or all the days of um, April, which is April's Autism Awareness Month. April 2nd is World Autism Awareness Day, which is normally when we do our March. Of course, because of COVID, we haven't been able to do our March in, for two, the last two years, but we still do stuff by Zoom and stuff like that. So, yeah, so this is a special, special meaningful watch. Of course, I have six more spaces for more watches. Then I have this one here. We're going to the second case. So up here, I got these watches, these three from Amazon. I don't know the name of it. Of course, I'll try to find the photo of the order to see if it does have a name. But I just loved it for the style. I loved it for the style. I thought it was elegant. I thought it was trendy, stylish, and very cute. So me. So I got them in three different colors. So I got this white one. And I loved it that the it has the black interface with the time, the hour, lit up in the triangle. Or not lit up. It's just the color is white wherever the hour time is. Lit up is kind of like some lights that light up. That's how I see it. But it has, whenever it's the time, like if it's 4 o'clock, this is on 4 o'clock. Um, I haven't started this one yet. You can still see it has the plastic wrap around it. I haven't used this one yet. But I love the black with the gray the white band with the grayish black and the interface with the black and white. So I just love it. Then I got a yellow one. I thought yellow is really cute. I have a lot of yellow, even though yellow is not my favorite color. Um, I have a lot of yellow clothing. So there was something about yellow that catches my eye. This one, the hand has the yellow, the triangle again in white, the interface black, the band. It's like a leatherish bandish, leatherish band. So I love those. So stylish, so cute. So me. And then I got it in red, of course, the interface being black again, white in the triangle. So I just love it. It's so I've worn the red and the yellow once, I believe. Haven't worn the white yet. So I got these three from Amazon. I actually got them all at the same time. I think that's the only colors they had. I can't remember. It's been a few months ago. These two I got as a Valentine's Day gifts like in 2018 or 2019 for my husband and I kind of didn't wear them for a while because I had that electric mag fill problem in my body and I just wanted to conserve it and have some watches that I could run to that the battery was working so he got me this because he knows I love pink and this is like a rose gold pink so he just loves it, it has an interface it's by Vivani Viviani I think I'm saying that right so I just love the elegance of it leather band band again leatherish band um i always say leatherish because i don't know if it's exactly patent leather or real leather um so i just say leatherish band that's why i keep saying that but then it also has an interface in rose gold i just love the elegance of the designs the little dials in the inside the numbers and the date being in the little squares so i like that I also he also gave me this one at the same time on valentine's day this one feels like it still has a plastic i haven't worn this one yet but he knows i love 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 butterflies so he got me this one i love the shimmery on the butterfly um and it's kind of like so it's kind of like a grayish taupe um band color so i like that one um i haven't worn this one yet but i have worn this once because this is the one i really wanted to see if the electric mag fill my body was still taking place over here we have Juicy Couture, one of my favorite designers along with Michael Kors and Steve Madden and stuff is um, Juicy Couture. So I found this elegant, elegant watch at Ross. I've just wore it once um, this past weekend. Um, it's so beautiful. It has the shimmery interface. You can see all the shimmer in there. And it has the whole name Juicy Couture. And then I love mesh bands. So it has a mesh band all the way around. And you can, with these kind of clasps, you can adjust the um, fit to your wrist which I also love um, so yeah I got this one at Ross don't quote me on the price um, I don't remember I almost want to say $29.99 or $19.99 which Juicy Couture is actually a little bit more but that's a great thing about Ross it's like an outlet store where you can get great deals on um, designer watches so I got that one so then I got this one as a gift from a sister-in-law a few years ago for my birthday she actually gave me the gift card and i went and with the gift card bought this watch it's the bb or the bibi i love the um, pink in the interface and then it has the gold tone 
um, band, of course. I love the I love these kind of clasps, by the way. They're so easy to put on and take off. Um, but I love Bibi, her baby. I'm gonna really find out the pronunciation. So I'm gonna say Bebe for now. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. But I love the pink with the gold tone. Then um, my husband got me this one for my anniversary. He actually got me three watches at the same time. This is from JC Penney's. It's a Geneva. It also has like a taupe color in the inside with the diamond likes. And it has the, um, is it silver tone? Looks like silver tone band. I can't even really see. But there's that clasp that I like again. Um, and then I got this one. I think this was a gift also from my husband from the previous year. Yeah, this is from him. This is also from JC Penney's. It's Relic. Again, I love the pink um, metallic-y look in the interface with the diamond lights on the outside with the silver tone um, band. There you see Relic, my favorite claps. This one I got as a mother of the bride gift for when my daughter got married in 2016, my daughter Adriana. She picked, she knows I love and collected watches. So what better fitting as a gift was this? I don't remember she gave everybody in the party a watch. Um, it was in 2016 and with the pandemic, we have a memory fog, but I do know she got me this and I loved it. It's by Armatron. It has the white interface with the diamond likes around the band. Also diamond likes on the beginning part of each side of the band. It's a silver metal tone. This has a lot of meaning for me, of course, because it's about her wedding day. So we have those. So let's shut this down. And then on the bottom here, we have two more empty spaces. So right here, I started putting my smartwatches. So this is a Michael Kors smartwatch that I got. Um, and then it feels like I dusted this off. I don't know why it looks dusty. So you see it says Kors like he usually has on his watches. On the blue watch that you saw, it has Kors on both sides. This one has Michael on one side and Kors on the other side. I love pink. So there goes the pink again. It's like a rose gold pastel pink. So, and it's so good. I love the quality of this watch. The battery life lasts a good while. So I love that. I love the elegance of the Michael Kors. So I had to get a smartwatch from him. I also got this smartwatch from um, Amazon. It had amazing, amazing reviews. It's like in the $50 range, but it had amazing, amazing reviews with the quality, the battery life, the things you could do. So I had to get it because I wanted to have so many not a tons of smartwatches, but I wanted to have my own little um, collection of them. Of course, you guys know I have the Apple smartwatch, which was a very smart watch that I bought. And it actually worked perfect for me because of that problem with the electric mag fill in my body and killing the batteries. It wouldn't happen with smartwatches because you charge them. So actually, smartwatches became my lifeline when it came to really having a watch that I could count on and my electric mag fill in my body not messing with it. And so I thought that's going to be my life, smartwatches. But then I thought I love all kinds of watches. So even if the battery was not to work, I would still use it as a watch jewelry piece. So I you know, just resigned and gave up and said, I love watches. I'm going to continue to collect all kinds, regular and smart watches. And if I'm going to replace all the batteries that need to be replaced. And if it does it again, I'm just going to wear it as a jewelry piece because I'm not going to stop collecting watches. And that's what I did. And it's worked so far. So yeah, I don't know the actual, um, I probably have to charge these. I charge them when I know I'm going to use them in the next day or two. I charge them um and get them going hey there's the look right there um but i don't know the actual name of it of course like i said you guys will get the photo of the order so yeah this had like amazing amazing reviews across the board it's showing you on its own some of the stuff that it does so i had to get that as the last watch i got for as far as a smart watch i also got the kindle and kylie smart watch i got this one from kohl's online you cannot get it in the store you have to get this online so it has kylie on one side kindle on the other it comes with two bands there's another band that's pink and this black and white one so i'll just switch when i need to and i love it so far i love it i haven't set up everything i set up the app so all my smart watches the app is already on my phone and i got the regular watch going and if it changes pictures or have the picture options i have that on there or any designs so i have the basic functions going but there's so much these watches can do that i still have to you know 
get going because there's just so much you can do and I'm still learning each one and so but I got the basic functions and stuff like that so I love my Kindle Kali this ran about $80 on Kohl's online I believe they still have it they come with um, four straps this you, if you get this one you get the pink band with it and the black and white the other one I think has this one but it has a leopard band so if you're into leopard that's the way to go I got these fit tracker watches that you also charge with the um what do you call it like a not an android usb i can't remember but you charge it as well as all the other smart watches so i got this one in a purple and i got this one in a pink are you guys surprised because pink and purple are my favorite colors always have been so i had to get one in each of my favorite colors so and i don't know if it has a band option if you could purchase more bands to change it out i don't for sure because i got these like maybe the beginning of this year, the ending of last year. So I'm not for sure, but I definitely had to have one in each of my favorite colors. So you just stick it to a charger and you're good to go. Um, this watch I got is real elegant. I wanted some square faces as well, because as I told you, I, I'm loving both square and round faces. This is an Anne Klein. So it has a silver tone square face with the black leather band. You see the Anne Klein on the claps there as well. And it has the black in the inner face, which I love. It's so elegant. I think I've worn this once so far. And then I ordered this vintage looking watch. It's by, um, I forget the name again. But it has a butterfly, like you, like I told you guys, I love, love butterflies, always have. I feel like there's a spiritual connection. And the butterflies represent to me all the things that you go through in life, sadness, suffering. And then you just kind of go through the journey and the process and come out victorious. And then you see the butterfly. So it just has such a spiritual, emotional meaning to me. Um, and I love that it has like this antique blue pastel color. It also has a name on the claps right there. And I love that it's another square face, but a kind of different, not a long square face, but a, a wider square face. And I love that. Let me put my glasses on and I'll tell you what's the name of that. So, oh, Victoria Hyde. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Victoria Hyde. I have never heard of her, but it's through London. You can see London right there on the bottom. Um, but I think if I'm correct, she does a lot of vintage looks, um, but she has a really, really nice um, designer collection. And so I'm going to try to find more of her watches. I love this antique blue and I love that it has the the wider square face and it has her name in it and the butterfly of course so this was another watch that my husband got along with um that one right there on the same day he got me three and this is another one of them this actually should go this way so it has the mesh band again you guys know i love the mesh band it has the oil spill color it's again a square face um and it has the oil spill you can see around the square face. The inner face is black. The band, like I said, I love mesh, so it's mesh. So it has the oil spill color all around the band as well as the outerness of the square face watch. So I have that. And, of course, I have two more spaces. Sorry. I'm trying to wipe my nose. <laughs> um, two more. The one thing about you'll notice in all my videos, as soon as I do a video, my nose wants to run. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? So when you hear me sniffle, never mind. Let's move forward. So yes, yeah, so I have two more spaces to fill there. And then this case will be complete. And then, of course, like you saw, I have like six more spaces in there to complete both of these cases. So now I'm going to go to the mirror case and show you what I have there. So I completely forgot to include my Apple smartwatch, which was the very smartwatch that I got. I had forgot about it when I was doing the video because it was on my nightstand on the charging base. And as I was editing this video, I realized, oh my God, where's the Apple smartwatch? So I put it back in its place. Once it's charging, I put it back in its place in this organizing case, which is on the bottom right here. And it goes with all my other smartwatches. You saw these in the earlier clips, which was the Michael smartwatch. This one is a smartwatch. I forgot the name, but I got it on Amazon. It had the most amazing, amazing reviews. I love it. This is the Kindle and Kylie one that I showed you. And these are my two fitness tracker ones. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. 
Um, and I got them in my two favorite colors. So you saw those, and this is the one you didn't see, which was my Apple smartwatch, the very first smartwatch that I got that I was in heaven with, not only because of the quality of the Apple products and the beauty of it, but because I had that electric mag fill problem in my body that killed um, batteries in the watches. Um, this was my lifesaver because this one, it didn't kill the battery because you charge it. So, and I get like, I could get like three or four days out of this um, watch when I charge it. So it's really, really nice. Um, everything you could do pretty much on your iPhone, you could do on this watch. Um, the next smartwatch that I want to get, I want to get at least one more, um, would be the Samsung smartwatch because I have a Samsung tablet and a couple of Samsung accessories. So it would go perfect, but these run pretty expensive. These run 500 plus, um, so, yeah, I definitely have to look into again, see what the price is at this time, because I got this one two years ago, and I'm just loving it. Loving it. I've never had one problem with it. I do have a plastic screen protector on here, so any every time I take off my watches, I give it a good wipe, and then I put it back in its case. I just don't put them back in their case. I make sure they got a good wipe, and it looks a little dusty here, one, because the light is glaring on it so it makes it look more dustier but it has that plastic screen protector which is still in great condition but sometimes when i put these bumpers these bumpers the square thing that goes around here i have tons of those which i'll show you in a minute um, sometimes it pushes the plastic a little bit so sometimes if it's lifting i'll go ahead and put another one which i always make sure i have extras on hand just like i do for my iphone um so yeah but they're always, as soon as they come off my arm, they're wiped and clean and then put away. So I have plenty of bands. When I first got this one, I bought all different color bands, all different styles. Um, I don't have extra bands for the Michael Kors. I don't believe, I'm sure they have them. So I have to just look into that. These are a little harder to change. These on the Apple Watch are more easier to change. I'll show you in a minute how you can change them. Um, this one, I got like I said from Amazon and I did order a package set of extra bands and I'll show you those in a minute. Kendall and Kylie come with one extra band. They have two sets so if you can get this one with a leopard band or this one with a pink band. So I got the set that came with a pink band so I have one extra one for that one. These I don't remember them having extra bands. I think you have to buy a whole nother fitness watch to get a different color. Um, I'll look into that as well but definitely when I got my Apple watch I bought um I got this actually from my cell phone company because they sell Apple products, of course, and Android products and Samsung products. They have the whole thing. So I did get it from my cell phone company. Um, and then I um, came home and immediately ordered tons of different colors and different style bands for the watch to match uh, my clothes. Because at this time when I bought this watch, it was a lifesaver because I had that electric mag fill problem in my body that kills batteries in the watches. And so when this came out, I said, I got to have that. And it was a lifesaver because it doesn't kill this battery because you charge it. And I get three to four days out of the charging, which is really, really nice. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I bought different styles and different color bands to match all my wardrobe. And then, of course, I found other smartwatches and I replaced all the batteries on the watches that I did have that had a lot of meaning um, and value to me. And so far, so good. So I'm going to show you the extra bands to this one. But this was on the charging base. And I'm like, oh, my God, as I was editing the video, I was like, did I just miss my Apple Watch, which is the first and more important one, probably? No, I didn't. So I had to add this clip. But yeah, and this one's easy to remove. The Michael Kors, if they had extra bands, it would be a little harder because it's a pen that you have to remove. You have to be very careful, and I think this would be the same. Um, this one is the same as well, but this one, I figured it out. Um, but Michael... Um, not the Michael. The Apple Watch is the easiest band to change. So these watches are by Smito. I ordered all of these on Amazon. It came in a nine pack. It came five leather banish, leatherish bands, and it came with four mesh. So these are um, the leather band ones. Um, this one is separate. This is not Mito. This is Juicy Couture. So all five of these are the Smito collection, and they came in different colors. They're so elegant and so beautiful. I had to get them. It was such a deal. Usually you think... For nine watches to be such, I like I said, I can't remember the price. It's a really low price. I want to say like 10 bucks or 13 bucks. Um, you think, oh, those watches are cheap. They're not going to work. They're not. If you do your research 
and you read all the reviews and watch any video any videos if they provide it and like i said again do your research check out all the reviews and if it's perfect across the board then it's worth taking the chance it might not be a designer watch or a very expensive watch but you could just use it for the elegance of it and just enjoy them you know just as much so i did get those and i have not regretted them this one's a black band um, with the black interface and then it has a shimmery beads on the interface and the inside with the gold tone this one is a purple this one's kind of weird because it has one type of purple on the band and then it has a beautiful like royal purple in the inner band but they're not the same purple but it still has the shimmery beads the gold tone um so but it's okay i still love it then it has this beautiful ruby red color band and then it has the beautiful, beautiful, sh not shimmer because it's not shimmer, but just the elegance. I call it royal when it's elegance to me. It's royal because you know the color royal blue, how elegant it is and how like vibrant it is. I don't know how else to say it, but I mean, I could come up with so many words, but it does have the ruby color in the interface, um, the shimmery, again, beads, gold tone, red band. So I love that. Um, it's hard to choose because when I wear red, I have quite a few red watches. So I'm like, which one? So I just kind of go by feel. Am I going somewhere elegant? Am I going somewhere sophisticated? Or am I going just to run errands? Or am I going just to a doctor, but I want to look cute? So I kind of go by feeling and what the reason of where I'm going. So this one is a white band, also gold tone on the outer face it has the gold tone in the inside this came with less shimmery beads in the inside i don't know why again you know it's not a designer watch it's not expensive at all but i bought them i'm impressed with them so far so that's great um so it was worth my buy but um i just wear them for the trendy elegance of it so yeah so this is the white one then we have a pink one this is kind of like a dull pink to me i don't know what you would even call this pink I still love it because I love pink, but like fuchsia. Fuchsia pink is not my favorite at all, but I still love it because it's pink. There are shades of pinks that are my favorite, like rose gold, um, baby pastel pinks, neon pinks, but fuchsia would kind of, I still love it because it's pink, but it kind of would be down on the list. I don't know what you call this pink, but I still love it. It has the gold tone. It doesn't match the interface like many of them. This one does match the interface. This one does. This one does. This one doesn't. It's a white band with gold where this is red, red, purple, purple, black, black. Um, but these two don't. This is a white band and it just has the gold tone, which is fine. This one has a gold tone interface with the shimmery beads. But I don't know what you call this kind of pink. So those are very elegant. So I have all those together. This one, I skipped this one because I wanted to go ahead and show you all the Smino ones. This one I got from Ross. This one, I believe it may have been $19.99. I think the other one was $20.99. I loved it because it had that shimmery green leather band and it has the gold tone in the inside with the word juicy so and it has a gold tone on the outer face i just thought it was so elegant and so cute i wore this this past weekend because i wore a lot of green we went to los bookies concert and my both of my outfits because i bought two outfits just in case they were all in the green family so i definitely had to take this watch with me and i did wear it um I believe on the day that I went to the concert, I wore this and it was so elegant and so cute and stylish. So that one's that one. So I have the five leather band Smeetos and the Juicy Couture watch in this one. So I'm going to put that back right here. Then I have this other one last here. So these watches are by Smeeto. I ordered all of these on Amazon. It came in a nine pack. It came five leather banish leatherish bands and it came with four mesh so these are um the leather band ones um this one is separate this is not Mito. this is juicy couture so all five of these are the smito collection and they came in different colors they're so elegant and so beautiful i had to get them it was such a deal usually you think for nine watches to be such i like i said i can't remember the price it's a really low price i want to say like 10 bucks or 13 bucks um you think oh those watches are cheap they're not going to work they're not if you do your research and you read all the reviews and watch any video any videos if they provide it and like i said again do your research 
check out all the reviews and if it's perfect across the board then it's worth taking the chance it might not be a designer watch or a very expensive watch but you could just use it for the elegance of it and just enjoy them you know just as much so i did get those and i have not regretted them this one's a black band um with the black interface and then it has a shimmery beads on the interface and the inside with the gold tone this one is a purple. This one's kind of weird because it has one type of purple on the band and then it has a beautiful like royal purple in the inner band, but they're not the same purple, but it still has the shimmery beads, the gold tone. Um, so, but it's okay. I still love it. Then it has this beautiful ruby red color band and then it has the beautiful, beautiful Sh not shimmer because it's not shimmer, but just the elegance. I call it royal when it's elegance to me. It's royal because you know the color royal blue, how elegant it is and how like vibrant it is. I don't know how else to say it, but I mean, I could come up with so many words, but it does have the ruby color in the interface. Um, the shimmery again, beads, gold tone, red band. So I love that. Um, it's hard to choose because when I wear red, I have quite a few red watches. So I'm like, which one? So I just kind of go by feel. Am I going somewhere elegant? Am I going somewhere sophisticated? Or am I going just to run errands? Or am I going just to a doctor, but I want to look cute? So I kind of go by feeling and what the reason of where I'm going. So this one is a white band, also gold tone on the outer face. It has the gold tone in the inside. This came with less shimmery beads in the inside i don't know why again you know it's not a designer watch it's not expensive at all but i bought them i'm impressed with them so far so that's great um so it was worth my buy but um i just wear them for the trendy elegance of it so yeah so this is the white one then we have a pink one this is kind of like a dull pink to me i don't know what you would even call this pink I still love it because I love pink, but like fuchsia. Fuchsia pink is not my favorite at all, but I still love it because it's pink. There are shades of pinks that are my favorite, like rose gold, um, baby pastel pinks, neon pinks, but fuchsia would kind of, I still love it because it's pink, but it kind of would be down on the list. I don't know what you call this pink, but I still love it. It has the gold tone. It doesn't match the interface like many of them. This one does match the interface. This one does. This one does. This one doesn't. It's a white band with gold where this is red, red, purple, purple, black, black. Um, but these two don't. This is a white band and it just has the gold tone, which is fine. This one has a gold tone interface with the shimmery beads. But I don't know what you call this kind of pink. So those are very elegant. So I have all those together. This one, I skipped this one because I wanted to go ahead and show you all the Smino ones. This one I got from Ross. This one, I believe it may have been $19.99. I think the other one was $20.99. I loved it because it had that shimmery green leather band and it has the gold tone in the inside with the word juicy so and it has the gold tone on the outer face i just thought it was so elegant and so cute i wore this this past weekend because i wore a lot of green we went to los bookies concert and my both of my outfits because i bought two outfits just in case they were all in the green family so i definitely had to take this watch with me and i did wear it um I believe on the day that I went to the concert, I wore this and it was so elegant and so cute and stylish. So that one's that one. So I have the five leather band Smeetos and the Juicy Couture watch in this one. So I'm going to put that back right here. Then I have this other one, last but not least. So I'm going to pull it over here. This was the other part of the package that I got. Like I said, I got nine watches five leather band ones and four mesh ones. So here are the four mesh ones. These are separate. So I got this first mesh first mesh band one. I can't even talk. Um, they're all rose gold bands. So I love it. This one is a beautiful, vibrant, like I said, a royal color purple to me with the shimmery beads also. So the only difference with the other ones is those are leather bands. These are mesh, but it has the same style, the same look, just different colors as well. Um, so yeah, so we got that one. Did, I don't know, remember if I showed you this exactly. Okay, so it's the purple one with the gold tone on here and the rose gold mesh band. So just to recap, just in case. This one, again, rose um, gold mesh watch with the gold tone in the interface with the shimmery beads. So this is all just kind of like gold tones, rose gold and gold tone together. This one 
is like a brownish grayish color I want to say also rose gold mesh band gold on the outer face shimmery beads in the inside and I want to say it's like a grayish brown I'll have to figure it out I'm, I've been figuring it out since I bought it I'm like what color is this here's another red for you and so it has again the rose gold mesh band the gold outer tone the beautiful vibrant royal red in the inside with the shimmery beads another elegant one these i would wear more to go to elegant places but hey if i feel elegant myself but i'm not really going to an elegant place i might just be feeling it and wear it then but mainly in my head i'm thinking those are definitely like going to church going to an event stuff like that this one i also got is a his and her watch so I just liked it. Again, I was looking for some brown color watches. As you saw, the other his and her watch that I got for our anniversary is a band, is a brown color with a actual brown um, band, um, metal band. So this one I got, it's like a gold tone mesh band. There goes my mesh, love my mesh. But the interface is brown and I just love the design of it with the little round dial on the inside. I just love the elegance of it. So I got another one. This is a his and her watch. My husband has a matching watch to this one. It just looked so elegant to me. And of course I had another option of brown. So now I have two watches with brown, which I had none. So I love it. Also, this is from Amazon. I don't know if I mentioned this whole set with the four mesh and the five leather bands, also from Amazon. It's by Smito, just recapping. Um, and this is a Steve Madden one that I also got from Ross. It has like the rainbow color in the interface. You can see the all the rainbow colors. It's a mesh band again. So this is perfect. And I think this is why I put these in here because even though it's not the same designer as these four, but the point is that it was mesh. So I thought it would go perfect in this case. So yeah, it has a black mesh band. So it's perfect. I love that rainbow color in the inside. It's just so beautiful. So I'll tend to wear this also if I'm going to somewhere nice or just want to be cute. But mainly when I see rainbow colors, I think of autism with the four colors. It doesn't have all the rainbow colors, but it has four of the rainbow colors um, or similar to it. I also think of the LGBTQ community events. I think of that. I think of Autistic Pride Day in June. So, so many reasons I could wear there where it's meaningful, but I can still wear it even if it has nothing to do with that, just that I want to have, maybe I have a pair of leggings, actually like four pair of leggings that have like all these colors in it. So it goes perfect with that as well. So yeah, so that's the second and last mirrored case. Like I said, I had five, but I, um, I have the other three put away just in case I ever get more space. So I'm so happy and excited to have finally completed my revamp watch collection. I so hope you love it and have enjoyed um, being on this journey with me and finally allowing me to present this to you to see what my revamp co watch collection is like and what I have chosen, how I organize it, all that good stuff. So look forward. I'm almost done with my makeup collection. I have half of a drawer space to go to complete that one. I also have the perfume collection, so I'm not trying to show you too much of the perfumes here because I want to do that collection. And I have the house tours, of course, all this other exciting stuff, hauls, series, you name it. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you and I hope that you like the second collection that I have completed being the purse collection and now the watch collection and the collections that are to come. So I'm so excited to get those done and complete it and upload them and share them with you. So this is it for my Weevent watch collection. I will see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe and God bless. Thanks for watching.